Hello, greetings from Thailand. I'm Nirana Tirasupa. It's a great honor to be able to introduce my case report about horizontal impaction. 17-year-old Thai female came to my orthodontic clinic with a chip complaint of missing her upper front tooth. The maxillary left central incisor was clinically absent, but the tooth bud protuberance was found in the oral cavity. From panoramic and lateral cephalometric films, this horizontal impaction is located at the middle one-third of the root of the adjacent teeth and labially position. Moreover, both adjacent teeth were tipped missily toward the midline and occupied the space for maxillary left central incisor. Besides impacted tooth, there were other four main problems, consisting of anterior and left posterior cross bite, edge to edge overbite, low smile line, and my skeletal class 3 discrepancy. The treatment alternatives were proposed into five options. The option one, maxillary arch expansion to create space and together with the closed eruption technique for the artificial eruption of the maxillary left central incisor into the position. Option two, surgical extraction of impacted tooth and space creation for dental implant to be performed after completion of growth. Option three, Surgical extraction of impacted tooth and space closure by moving the lateral incisor to the position of central incisor and subsequent prosthetic restoration. Option 4. Surgical repositioning of impacted tooth. And the last option. Surgical extraction of impacted tooth and auto-transplantation of a premolar to the region. All treatment options were discussed on the basis of risks and benefits, and the option one was chosen. Here's the final result. The maxillary left central incisor was properly positioned in the dental arch, and its vitality was maintained. The height of the dual margin and crown length were similar to the right, providing an aesthetic result. Cross by of anterior and left posterior teeth were eliminated. Class 1 molar relationship with ideal overjet and overby were obtained. Facial photographs show improvement in the soft tissue profile and the patient's smile turned into normal smile line. Three years after active treatment, there was excellent stability of clinical cowling of maxillary left central incisor and no cross by relapse. Overby decreased minimally owing to slight intrusion of the maxillary incisors. However, tooth display in the rest position, smile line, overjet, and overbite were within normal ranges. Lateral cephalometric superimposition illustrates the change after treatment. The maxillary incisor were extrude and protect to correct cross bite and low smile line. And minimal intrusion of maxillary incisors was shown in three-year retention phase. Lastly, I would like to thank the AJODO for giving me the opportunity to introduce this article, and I encourage all of you to read my full version of this case report for more treatment details and discussion points. Thank you.